Okay, true to our XGA time. 303-666-9020. Quick note, October is not gonna be an easy month to get little XGA parts from us. And I, I don't mean that as a blast on don't call us. Just bear with us. We are gonna be completely gutting finally we've been looking and doing this for a long time this yard in october meaning everything not just eggshades but everything so call us it might be something we have pulled on a shelf and in that case we can throw it in a box um some of the little trim pieces on eggshades get a little intricate so those are gonna have to wait till november but doesn't mean you can't reach out we can still add it to a list we're gonna have a ton of work to catch up on in november for everything we are not doing we're basically not messing with the, the I don't want to say trinkety because it's not important. I know it is important, but the bolts, the nuts, the little trim pieces, that kind of stuff, because I know a lot of that's not. So keep that in mind. And the other thing that's going to be a little hard is we're limited on our hours that we can be available to talk when we're all helping out here. So I'll have a headset on and I'll be funneling callers, calls best I can. But if you don't get through for any reason, leave us a voicemail, send us an email, send us a parts request. There's millions of ways you can contact us other than a phone call if you can't get through. And normally I like phone calls, so I don't want to steer you away from that. But anyway, point of this video here is to look at some XJ two doors. Um, we have a few right now. There's actually even a later model, 97 to 01 back there. It's pretty much parted, but it is complete, or it's not, it's, it's not complete, but it's there. I mean, it's there for a shell. If you had rust issues, it's there for a build, if you just want to build one. Um, and I have a title on that one, so that's 9701 keep in mind these are going to be the older eras that i'm going to show you in this area here the other one's green not that it matters um it was a jeep i actually drove uh for a while loaned it to an employee and just to not going to get into why i parted it but uh it, he didn't take very good care of it so uh but the body's okay so okay so um these guys i got two of these that are almost identical looking uh literally the paint is i'll show you the other one here in a minute i mean what are the chances you get two two doors both red both sports that look almost the same so um this one here has got a damage on the front fender these are obviously for parts but potentially because they're two doors um depending on what paperwork we got with them might be looking to sell them off especially as we do uh this cleanup so okay and then you got this thing's packed full of parts but give you a little bit you got side windows here fixed rear tilt here some of these are all fixed so this is kind of a I guess an option they did um seat this is actually like a grade a seat because these things are so old and hard to get their buckets are hard to get the console in it i think i seen that console yeah it's right there so console sit in there that's got a mismatch passenger side that was probably a gray here as well and they blew it out so they got this guy um steering wheel and column look like they've been taken apart somewhat looks like they have a starter switch in it there is a key in it so that's at least good and then the dash is fairly complete which means the heater box is behind there still Okay, so four-wheel drive, that's a shifter down the ground there. And it is a manual. Okay, this has probably got like a BA-10 in it, um, Peugeot. So most of the people that are blowing those out are going and converting them to AX-15s. And we have a few Cherokee AX-15s right now. And holy, okay, they're damaged. I was like, what the heck are fenders doing back here? Because we sell fenders really quickly. These ones look like they're damaged. So and white ones, I just had a guy call on. That's why it kind of threw me. But anyway, so obviously you got to clean all this stuff out of it. But the glass is good. And nothing got broken here, luckily. Um, trim panel's loose back here. Um, I'm going to close this. So sometimes these lock up and they're, well, this, we'll do it now if it's going to happen. So it obviously closes and then... Let's see. Yeah, still open. So we're good there. So not a bad little thing, especially for a little project. Um, Bondo, ooh, didn't see that. So got a little filler back there. Probably got tagged in the corner and fixed it one time. And this is what happens to Bondo over the years. So not a bad job. It just probably was done in the very beginning. So probably want to redo that. Pretty solid still. Um, I don't know the depth of it, how bad it is, but it doesn't look too bad. And it looks like they said they did a pretty good job. Probably back in the pole or something. Uh, roof is good. There's no hail damage. It needs paint, obviously. Glass again on this side. And these are manual windows. Those are getting really hard to find. Just the regulators alone in these two doors are pff, a couple hundred bucks a piece. They're super, they, they don't work on the four doors. They're bigger doors. So, okay. Suspension, nice, clean, unibody, rust free. Just like we like them. We don't usually mess with anything that's got rust in it, but every once in a while I get something. But, okay. So that's that guy. And then, uh, I'm not going to show you the other one, but it is back there if you're interested in a later one. Um, you can change most stuff on them. 
change front clips around and whatnot. So I got, let's go to this black one real quick. There's a black one sitting over here, yeah. This guy's was an automatic originally. Looks like an automatic might still be in there. Not sure on that. Those sell pretty quick anymore, so. But it's gutted in this kind of shape. So if somebody's gonna be a project, I do have a dash for this one. It's actually in the back, I just seen that. So we got that still. Door's obviously gone. This one's probably a little bit more than most people would wanna mess with unless you're again dealing with rust. In that case, you probably just wanna mess with a bare, bare tub. But keep in mind, some of the XJ issues, and this is kind of what happened on my other one too. My one at my newer one. This wasn't as, it wasn't as bad on the other one, but they break the hinges out of them. So that's probably what happened on this one, and that's probably why they got rid of it. You just can only re-weld so many times. These are kind of the downfalls of an XJ with a unibody, the way that they did them versus like a TJ with the hinges and stuff on them. So keep that in mind on this one. Probably not a, a very good one for a build. Um, and it's got a rear window out, side window out sizes are okay there so but they're all there's a lot of parts still left on these so even if you don't want to i'm not necessarily selling these whole i'm just telling you that there, there's somebody who's looking for one so i'm kind of walking you through it at the same time as they'll be seeing it but point is is that there's a red one look at that spitting image of the other one same pinstriping same everything but look a solid window in the rear so that's the other option they had so for whatever reason this was maybe a little bit more of a basic or maybe they broke them at one time and put the other ones. It's hard to say, but nonetheless, um, panels on this one are pretty straight. I, I know that other one's got a couple dings. Between the two, we could actually probably make one really nice one. Oh, it's almost exactly the same damage, that fender on it. So kind of cracks me up. This header panel is done. That one I think was okay. Um, those are getting hard to get, but we can get them. This one's got a good one on it. Uh, or at least it looks fairly good. No, it's, maybe we'll have to see because those hold your headlights in. So uh, this is the last one here. There's two door besides the one in the back. And it's, of course, got the same windows on it. There's absolutely no axles underneath this one. This one's pretty far gone as far as parts go. But And it's got the driver off, but the driver door is sitting here. Um, some damage there. on the. That's actually been cut probably for bigger tires. So... And yeah, this one's pretty. When they get damaged like this, you're gonna, this end up being the body that these are, you're gonna require more body work than you probably wanna mess with on this one. So for a restoration project, for a, for a cab swap, I would probably not get you into something like this unless, you know, unless you're wheeling it, don't really care. And in that case, you know, might as well. But um, doors here, it's got a pretty good ding in the middle of it. Hatch is gone on this one, but between those will interchange on the four door, so. And you got, look at that, look at that computer you get with this one. That's, I mean, you get a free computer, it might be, you know, might persuade you into this thing, so. But I'll tell you what, I'll throw that computer in with any of these. Matter of fact, I'll do you one better. I'll throw that computer in, you pay the shipping, and I'll throw it in with any part you buy from us. So free computer, that computer right there, no other one, that one. And, uh, you know, who knows, maybe there's gold in it, maybe you can rebuild it, maybe you can put it on your wall. You know, people take grills all the time. I wonder if they'll ever start looking for old computers and like put you know, put lights in them and hang them on their walls or something. I'm sure somebody's done it, but anyway. All right. Uh, I think that's it. Only other neat thing out here right now is the Comanche here. And I got one more in the back that's pretty beat. And then I got a cab uh, without, a uh, without a tub on it meaning a, I mean a, a box a bed that's what I'm trying to say but this one's complete and uh we got to do compression on this motor because it might be a good little four cylinder and these are hard to get right now they use 790 so all right otherwise you're going to go into a four door and there's nothing wrong with four doors if you have kids that might be the way you want to go um and we got a garden variety of four doors they're kind of all in various stages of dismantle XJs part out pretty quick. Of course, you have ZJs. Those are becoming popular. And we can, you know, we can get you a cab on any of these. I just shipped a Commander, uh, like the, they call them the XK, I think, uh, 06 to, or maybe 05 to 2010. We took, the guy literally wanted, he didn't want any of the drivetrain, engine, he didn't want any of that. He just wanted the shell. And it was the first time we shipped something that big. We shipped JK tubs. Those were pretty big. This thing was massive. And that thing went to Canada. So we can ship anything. It obviously is going to cost you some money to ship. But if you catch me on a run, it might save you a little bit. The only thing I'm going to say real quick, 
I'm not 100% sure I'm going to be able to take a full Jeep on this next run. And part of that is because we fill up our frames and tubs. If you need a TJ, a YJ, a CJ frame or tub, that is for those loads are for you guys. And I'm not saying that full vehicles are not, but the hardest part on a full vehicle is we can fit, let's say, four, maybe even six tubs in the place of a Jeep, depending on the length, and probably 10 frames. So it becomes for us a little hard to transport single vehicles. Now, if I have room when I leave to head out there, which is gonna be the first week of November, by all means, let's fill it up. I'd much rather have a full load than a, than a three quarters or a half full load. So, all right, 303-666-9020, October 1st. Remember that's Monday. Um, just give us a call, leave us voicemail. You can't text that number, but you can give us a call and I can give you a cell. You can text too if there's video, photos, something you need to see. Otherwise, like I said, just be patient and send us an email or something or send a voicemail. We'll get back to you. I'll try to do the same night, if not the next day. Do our follow ups in the late night, early mornings. And uh, we still have a full time shipping guy in here because we still have web sales, we still have freight, we still have orders that have been that are being built right now engines, axles, transmissions, so a whole thing. And that thing just got listed too. So you are looking for a CJ5. It's going to go up on eBay on Sunday night. One chance at buying it whole, then I'm parting the thing out. So if it sells whole, great. It's a great rust-free CJ5, and I even have a hardtop. And a that's a factory Jeep hardtop. I've seen Meyer tops. I've never had a factory Jeep. That's the first time. And it's got doors with it. And it's beautiful. I mean, it needs a couple of little things, but man, I drove that Jeep. We're actually going to put a tranny into it. Uh, as we sold the T-150 out of it. Uh, we oversold is what happened. So T-176 is going to get an upgrade. It had a three-speed 150. It's going to get a four-speed 176, and it's going to get a Dana 300 versus the Dana 20 it had. Drive shafts and all that will be put back in. It'll, it'll run and drive by the time it leaves here. Um, so keep that in mind as well. Okay, just an option if you uh, want to go in that. And I have a title for this thing. Okay, and you can look at the other videos for a little bit of history on that. This is kind of a unique history that came out of a military base. So.